Wow, man. I just read Acts 2. Wow. Crazy, man. Really crazy. Uh, I'm just drinking my water, having my Dutch. Got my glasses off right now. Uh, keep faith, okay? Um, yeah, <laughs> it's like, what do you say after reading that, you know? But uh, look, it's going to feel like that you're Doom Pilot. And it's going to feel like um, shit in face. Like from the movie Pulp Fiction is what I'm referring to. Um, and then it's going to feel like, um, they got all your girls. And when you feel this and watch this video in the spirit of Jesus, you'll see that like, that's the vibe that from Nestorenko comes about. And I'm, I'm speaking right now with, you know, forces against me that say, oh, I'm ready for, you know, to be on the tricycle, you know, pushing, pushing weight and pushing, uh, you know, some sort of uh, Wolverine style, you know, um, pyramid. And uh, I already went through those feelings when I was at um, the 51 pit and God saved me then. I thought the fire was going to come out of the hose in the cell and I was going to fry and they were going to idol worship me. And then I thought then I would have to go and get in some PT shorts and do whatever they make me do. So, like, I've already been through that. Like, I, I already went through that feeling. And nothing can come against me anymore because God sealed me by Isaiah 51. And I, I read it in the moment, and I had an AL8, and I had Chinese MSG, and, like, it all happened in sync. And I was sealed. And God got me through all of Trump and all of Biden so far. And I've in the end of Obama and I made it. Um, so I'm speaking on that. And then also I'm saying like for the Nestorenko, when that goes down, like it's going to be a different vibe. And like you'll feel under persecution. Um not like there will be soldiers on the street. I'm not saying that. It's a spiritual vibe. Like, if you're Esau or if you're Jacob, that's what I'm saying. Like, I hope you understand. Like, it's spiritual. Like, it's not like there's armies and stuff. Like, it's a spiritual battle that I'm talking about if you get high or if you get drunk or if you're in the spirit all the time. If you're just like going to work, like you'll see it in the economy and stuff. You'll see it there. That's where you'll be affected if you're all into work. Like you'll see it in like just the vibes of the political realm that shift. Like up top and stuff and then it'll it'll all be on a local level too so that's what i'm talking about like i'm not saying like oh they're gonna like make you do all this stuff i'm saying like it's a spiritual presence like People say they feel a certain way around me. They feel a certain way around my dad. They feel a certain way around my brother. Like, 
everyone has a safe vibe or a harmful vibe or a sarcastic vibe or a funny vibe or a, you know, comforting vibe and like or a good vibe, like it'll be like on that level, you know. Um, so that's all I'm saying, like, but, you know, do I know for sure? I, no, I don't, but, like, I, I could be right, though. And, like, I, you know, I'm going off my seal parameters. Those, it becomes a lot every day. Like, it's a lot that adds up, and then you have to, like, sort through and be like, okay, was this real, or was this real, or was this, like... So, I'm, I'm like going off as of strongs too, like how I've been plugging things in that, um, that hold true to certain parts of the Bible, like where I think my seal is at, like with my deal seal, like how I'm going, how I'm doing it, like in parameter wise. So, yeah, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Um, and look, my language isn't perfect, you know, it's not, I, I don't really speak the words I need to sometimes, but I just hope you get what I'm actually saying and like the way they got this Bible going down, it doesn't seem right. It doesn't seem right, man. And I've seen it on the level of Ezekiel like 36. That's where I, I picked up. Okay. This isn't, this isn't right. Like it's, it's wrong, like, for everyone that has, like, a, like, a seal that's going through this part of the section of, like, the hook is C of Jesse or something, like, at the end times, or in that day, at least, like, at least it says, like, in that day, and it's talking about after a Garden of Eden type situation, and then it's like, in that day there will be um, the root of the hook is sea. And I think that that's people that went through similar things that I went through on my channel. And like, in, in my life before I was on YouTube in 2017. So, um, I do think like, that could be what it is that that they're all the sections of the Bible that that were changing things but it didn't go how maybe it was supposed to you know what I'm saying and maybe um, maybe they didn't cut off like they were supposed to. And maybe also... The Megarans that's talked about in that section of For is Solved, the Dissolved part. Maybe they're about to go to the pit and... Like, people thought that they would have to get drowned in the cell. And, like, that's not true. That's, I've never heard anything like that. What that is, is a lie. And what it really is, is they would get blamed for an event. And then they would go and get lethal injection and then cut off and be the Opabinia Regalis which is the part of Daniel 7, the fourth beast, that's talked about there. 
you get what I'm saying? Like, you you get what I how I'm like saying all this? Like, so, um, because that's actual prophecy. That's prophecy. And you got to have a tribulation to get to that part. So I'm going to get off here now and upload. But uh, that's what I'm talking about is um, everything might have been stolen from the ones who were supposed to cut off because we went through our sections of the Bible and that stuff that it's saying in Acts is wrong. It's deception. Like, it's not the real Bible. And whoever is doing that is wrong. Like, uh, and so was all of it wrong? It might have started off okay, but it wasn't great. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't great. You know, so, um, all right, thank you.